All righty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and squirrels, we got one of my favorite spilling ways. We got old Jordan skipping work again today. I'm just kidding, he had the day off, and then we got this nice little pool below it. And uh, yeah, I've fished here a lot. We've caught all sorts of different species. I actually, this is the first place that I ever hooked myself, and actually, I didn't really hook myself. A pike hooked me with a jerk bait, but long story short, I got it out, and I'm doing just fine. But uh, yeah, actually, up the way, that look right they uh, filled it in with rocks like they did a lot of the other spillways but luckily this pool is still looking pretty good i thought it might be kind of crappy just because it'd be harder for fish to get down here but jordan's already caught a couple crappie and let's give it a whirl stuff and things but all righty ladies and gentlemen boys and girls they did the old rock thing if you're new here or you forgot what the rock thing is a lot of the spillways in nebraska on my side of the state got filled in with rocks and most of them are just the small little puddle spillways but this one's actually pretty big and uh, while that spillway is off limits, so the rocks getting into that isn't really a big deal. I figured it'd kind of affect things down here. So we're just coming down to see if uh, it really did affect things. But Jordan already caught a couple crappie. I've seen some bigger things splash. So there's at least something in here. Maybe they just swam up the creek or maybe they're just leftovers from before. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to be here pretty early in the morning. We already fished a different spot. It went shitty. So I'm hoping and praying that this one goes a little bit better. But uh, yeah, come along with Jordan and I. Let's see. But we can catch stuff and things, but wow. All right, T. I'm gonna start with crappie just because I want to catch something. I have caught one bass fish today, like a 14 incher, but that was about it at the other spot. And um, yeah, I just want to get bent. I do have a pole I can set up a big bobber on if I uh, want to put a crappie under it for pike. There might still be pike in here, there might still be walleye. There's various, various trash fish. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna see what's here today using a little Euro Tackle tungsten jig and it already got hit. These are my new favorite crappie jigs. Tungsten jig head, B vibe. They catch them all. And the tungsten's just so much more sensitive. I think that's my favorite part. So yeah, that's the game plan for now. We'll let you know what happens. There's a crappie. He's tiny, but not tiny enough. For the crappies, we either want really, really small or we want bigger than this because bigger than this is more fun to catch and really really small we can use as live bait jordan's drop shit and crappies <laughs> there's a couple fish down here jordan this is a little more fun than the first spot eh yeah catching something's better than catching nothing for anyone but especially for me with a baby on the way you saw a pike Really? They look like he was dying? No, he was acting like a gar, not like gar like. There is gar down here. Little crap. Little crap. See what else we can get and stuff. Crappy number three. Getting smaller, but not small enough. Jordan, when's the last time you caught a crappie? Ice season. <laughs> I just don't really panfish much uh, open water, so it's even kind of fun catching craps every now and again. They're brain dead. That was a pike for sure over there. They're brain dead and they're fun to catch. I'm gonna throw the plopper. Even though it's not really early morning anymore, it's shaded down here. All right, I'm gonna try a plopper. I'm gonna try a bass jig just because that's what I've tied on and then go from there. Walleye swim bait, something. Maybe back to crappies eventually. But for now, while it's still shaded, we'll throw all the old ploppy. How are you guys doing? You dirty? Not bad. Not bad. Probably ain't gonna work, but we're gonna give it a shot. And stuff. Crappie number eight million. What do they say though? What have I been saying lately? Still fun though. Still fun. It actually is still fun. Yeah, right when it hit the water. Look how tall he is. It's kind of shaped weird. 
They are right up against that tree, Jordan. I got the craps dialed. <laughs> <laughs> my damn bail open every single one of them just f***ing Gandhi swallowed to its asshole Jordan you got a stringer fire up the grease craps are here seriously I am tempted to keep a few they're actually pretty decent size not decent enough that it's like super exciting but I think those are perfect eaters. Seven to nine inches. I mean, come on. Water's cold. Water's somewhat clean. Maybe. Maybe. But probably not. All right. I have literally caught like 20 crappies. Um, off camera, I did throw a jig and a whopper plopper. The whopper plopper rod with the braid on it backlash so bad that I really just don't think I could get it out. So the uh, crappie bobber option is probably out as well, unfortunately. I don't know. I might take the time to uh, get that backlash out. But I threw a jig. Nothing. Jordan's threw a few lures. Nothing. I think I'm going to try a little bit bigger swim bait and then maybe some crawlers. I'm not sure. I might try down the way too. Oh, shit. I got something big. Yeah, I think it's a pike. And it's on the light pole. Oh, yeah. It's wrapping in shit. It's wrapping in shit. My line is super light. Ah! 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 I guess there's a gar, too. Oh, no! No! It's a carp. In the mouth, I think. I think a carp ate my swim bait. It is a carp. I thought it was a pike for sure. Am I recording? I am recording. Damn carp just ate my swimming bait. Okay, never mind. I ran into a carp with my swimming bait. <laughs> I thought I had a pike for sure. Dude, that thing like start. That was something big. That was eating something. Man, I thought I just got wrecked by a pike. That was exciting though. Dude, I went from catching tiny ass crappies, rambling about maybe eating some. Maybe. You got a can, don't you? Man, that's kind of a letdown, but he still tugged. It gets real wild when they start like heading the brush and stuff. Oh dude, he was he was hitting every tree in the bunch. I've only ever caught one carp here on a night crawler one time, so a little different-ish, kinda, not really. Snagged his ass, but he pulled, he tugged, he drugged, and he made me think I finally had a pike, but eh. Definitely pulled harder than the craps, boys and girls. Definitely pulled harder than the craps. I hooked him in like his bone. I don't know how I got that, but I got it. I haven't really caught carp lately. Besides last time I fished with Jordan, we caught some tiny ones, but fighter, boys and girls, fighter. That thing went ballistic. Ballistic. I'm still gonna throw the crappie jig a little bit, but seriously, I, we need to probably switch game plans. And stuff. Oh my god, I sunk so far in the mud. Whew. Jordan, be careful. Why? There's sinkholes. I was just gonna go that way. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Look at my leg. <laughs> so okay. deep. Dude, went from zero to like all the way down in the ground. <laughs> Pretty sure I touched China. Yeah, this way probably would have been better. Don't go the way I went. All right, we're finally moving down. <clears throat> finally moving down. I throw out a crawler on the bottom. Jig head crawler. See what we can't catch. Gar so far, snagged a carp. Billions of crappies. The problem never is catching crappies. It's catching something that's not a crappie usually is the, is the hard part. And 
The easiest way to do that is to use crappies as bait, but I think I'm gonna skip that today. That's what I always do here. Just kinda wanna throw some lures around, crawlers around and hope for the best. So muddy, so muddy. This damn microphone cord always gives me issues too. Damn thing, oh well. Yeah, there's a pole holder waiting for me. I don't want that one though. I want my own. And stuff. Still pretty deep down here, surprisingly. Still pretty deep. <clears throat> Not as deep as up by the falls, but I'd say five or so. Five or so ain't bad. Been seeing a lot more fish splashing down here too than up there. So I have a good feeling about this. I have a good feeling. And more stuff. Got something? I think it's just another crappie though. Oh no, a little walleye. Walleye. Neat. Not big, but hey, it's about probably the most desirable species we could catch. Not the most desirable size we could catch, but definitely the most desirable species we could catch. Got some big ones down here too, and that was first cast with a jig head crawler down here, so. See if there's a group of them. Or another one. Or something. Ah, uh, this is weird too. Hit it like right when it hit the water. No way. There's not even channel cats in this lake. Well, there's a couple. But they never stock channel cats in this lake and I've never caught a channel cat out of this spillway. I've actually never thrown a jig head crawler at this spillway. What's my issue? Should have done that a long time ago. Species number five. Nice, nice, nice. Still need something big, but species number five is not bad. Every time it hits the water over there. Walleye and then I think two channel kitties. Yep. This is one of the only spillways that I'm actually kind of excited and surprised that I'm catching channel kitties at. I mean, I'm not that excited, I'm not that surprised, but if I were ever gonna be excited and surprised about little micro channel kitties at a spillway in Nebraska, it'd be here. It would be here. Upgraded my uh, jig head side, size a little bit. I don't know how big it is, but it's the middle size of tungsten jig heads from Euro Tackle. Just to get down to the bottom a little faster and cast it a little farther. I like the small ones for crappies, but the big ones for everything else. I didn't hit the same spot on that cast, so I might not get bit, but I'm still gonna give her a shot and stuff. Yeah, I got bit. Well, I mean, I've done enough talking, but one more thing to talk about. We haven't caught anything too exciting, but since we got here about 45 minutes ago, it's been just about every cast. Whether it's down here, up here, I mean, basically everything but the plopper and the jig has got bit every cast, so. And by jig, I mean bass jig. Doesn't suck. Does not suck. It is getting hotter than balls, though, so that kind of sucks. But we'll tough it out for a little while. We will tough it out for a little while. And more stuff. That's better. I don't know how much better, but it seems better. Ah, uh, species number six, old drum bud. Drum bud. It just hit it different. I thought that one was gonna be a walleye, but drum buds can hit pretty similar to walleyes. Just ham boned it. You know what I mean, boys and girls? Just ham boned it. Knock the dust off it. Sucked the grease off it. Getting a little weird, but fill in the blanks. I haven't caught too many drum buds this year, so we'll take it. We will take it and stuff. Jordan, you've been missing out on some straight fire down here. 
three baby channel cats, a walleye, and a drum bud, and no crappies. You got any sunscreen in that bag, Jordan? No. You think bug spray will work? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Magnify it. I got something decent. Fast, whatever it is. Jig head crawler crushing it. I don't think it's that big, but yeah, a little bit better channel. That thing was going ballistic. Speed racer channel, bud, Jordan. Tugboat Timmy. Just flapping. Definitely warmer over here, eh, Jordan? Something decent. Another walleye. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Ain't quite 15, but he's getting closer. He does look tasty, Jordan. Well, this is pretty neat. Look the bejesus out of him and could throw a bigger swim bait to try to only target walleye, but I mean, I'd rather catch other random shit in between myself. He might be 15, but I'll let him go. I haven't caught a walleye for a while. I have not caught a walleye for a while. Well, there's at least two walleyes out there, so that was a first cast a little bit farther down. Maybe he has a friend, so we'll cast there again. Man stuff. Jordan, I'd advise getting a jig head on. Because that's walleye numero trace. You got a pole you can put one on? Yeah. You wanna... Oh, Jordan, you're getting a bite. Are you sure? Yeah, I pulled up on the line. Oh, okay. Freaked me out. I thought your pole was going in. <laughs> I found the walleye hole, Jordan. It's over by that little shithead bird. <laughs> you didn't expect what? To be all swampy. Yeah, it's always pretty, pretty nasty and muddy. I didn't find a sinkhole. Dude, I just instantly just fell to literally China. <laughs> Not even joking, dude. You just, you disappear as a creepy ghost. Your rod tip. I'm talking like over my knee just in, like it wasn't even like a slow-mo one. It was like just instant to the ground It was terrible. What you got? Did that just Jumper. jump. Oh, you got the only crappie down here, Jordan Oh, that's a big-ass gar too Keep him around if you can. I don't think he's gonna actually eat your crappie, but he might eat this That is a big short nose <laughs> I thought it was a pike. I did too, kinda. He ate it. He ate. Oh no! Dude, that would have been my biggest short nose ever for sure. That was a big dick short nose, Jordan. <laughs> did you see that thing? Yeah. Catch another crappie so he comes back. I thought it was a pike the way it was chasing my crappie like that. Yeah, he was hot on your crappie. That was pretty sweet. medium something angry little bastard don't you dare throw my night crawler little fishy it's like the last one <laughs> all right well we uh, came and we saw and we did some things I did actually end up breaking off a bigger fish that uh, wrapped me around a tree, but that's what they all say. And uh, yeah, snagged a carp, six different species, didn't get any pike. Jordan eventually caught something other than a crappie, and he's been getting piddly winked down there with his corn rod. But uh, yeah, it's getting hot. I think uh, I think we came, we saw, we did what we could at the spot that we had, because they uh, they kind of slowed down. It was every cast there for a little bit, and now it uh, it is not every cast. So 
With that being said, and it being hot, I think it's time to leave. But if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Be sure to subscribe to Jordan's channel. Do it, please. Thanks. Link them down below. And uh, yeah, see you later. Keep you updated on Boo. Stuff and thanks for Pow. Goodbye. <laughs>